Abbey's Igbo group, Oranese Igbo Worldwide, says the former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fanikayode, was used by the Mohamed Buhari led government to deceive the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namde Kano. In June, Kano was abducted in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria to face treason charges. He was subsequently arranged and brought before Binta Inyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja, who has came to be reminded at the DSS court study. Kano is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the court in the response to his agitation for the Republic of Biafra. He was granted bail in April 2017 on health grants, but skid bills after disregarding some of the conditions given to him by the court, Sahara Reporters report. The Secretary General of Organize Ndigbo Okechuku Isugwazo in a statement on Saturday said, Fane Kayode, who recently joined the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, had been a secret agent of the Caliphate and the presidency against Igbo Nation. The statement reads, Femi Fane Kayode's Macmillan's and Grander City on the unity of Nigeria, contrary to its previous stance on Biafra and Oduduwa nations, shortly after he was received by President Mohamed Buhari as a new APC member and reinforced our suspicions that Femi Fanikayode was a pawn in the hands of Igbo detractors. Playing the script, Craftsly designed for the engineering of sponsored violence and uprising against the people of Southeast. He consequently noticed Igbo governors and Nandekano as a friend of Ndigbo with fanciful, fanciful and deceitful ways to achieve his devilish agenda, which he had accomplished before he defeated unexpectedly to APC. Femi Fanikayode only played into the hearts and confidence of his Igbo and guilt sensitive information from the so-called Igbo elites and passed it on to the presidency. He has been a secret agent of the Caliphate and the presidency against Igbo. Perhaps he might be in, in instrumental in the illegal abduction of Nandekanu, undoubtedly is wizard dry and certainly cruise lured Nandekanu into demolishing the confidence of Nigerians against trusting Igbo with presidency in 2023 and indirectly encouraged violence throughout the South East states. We insist that it is the constitutional rights of Femi Fanikai Ode to join any political party of his choice, but he should further desist from making boastful comments on how he will lure Igbo People's Democratic Party governors to the APC. First of all, he should tender unreserved apologies to Governor Omahi over the forceful hold and his makeup stories of being instrumental in the defection of three PDP governors to APC, saying Governor Omai was among them. The statement reads, hmm. Oranese should shut up. Kanu can never be like them. <laughs> Kayode has freely walked into a big long time trap set for him by the Fulanese just because of promise of political appointment. Let's see how it unfolds and subsequently ends. Organize is talking rubbish. Igbo fell to his trap simply because they believe anyone fighting his perceived enemies is in the line with their struggle. Meanwhile, most of us criticizing their method of approach in the struggle are the real enemies. Today, he's the best president that the whole world 
re said foolish human man. All right, these are Nigerians reacting and they are still talking. Nobody deceived Mazi in Nandikano. Let's hear what I have said it before that Oranese is very much disconnected from reality. Did Nandikano tell you that he was deceived? Femi Fani Kayode is the best thing to have ever happened in Southeast and South South. He is a good politician who know how to follow road. Soon, Haberibe will join him. He is gradually signing off from politics. He shouldn't be trusted and we must be careful while following him. Okay? Blame the beautiful chicks that Leo Kano, not Fani, Femi Fani Kayode. He did not deceive them. Instead, he motivated them in the course of what they were called for. Who are the people? They are heroes. We know many of them like that, even though Atiku is one of them. Organize who sold out their sons to Buhari. Shut up, let's hear what. All right, nonsense. Marazin Namikano never trust this person, okay? All right, someone said, Sarah reporters, base your reportage on professionalism and not sentiment. What? Is discredited minister okay? Discredit, all right, sorry, right. discredits minister. Okay, someone said Judas is a learner where Femi, Femi Fanikayode is. He can betray anybody because hum, because of hunger. Very soon he will betray Asura too. <laughs> oh my god. In fact, that, that, that is good for him. So, guys, this is Nigerian's reaction. I'm dropping it here. I kindly hit the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.